Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to episode 18 of our DCS F18C Hornet Academic Series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the AGM 65E Laser Guided Maverick. This is a 641 pound anti armor missile. In this lesson, we're going to be using a JTAC to designate for it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the Laser Maverick in operation. So I'm going to have an IP or initial point set up 10 miles outside the target, and we're going to set that as a waypoint 1. So waypoint, waypoint 1, and we see that's just 3 miles ahead of us here. Uh, next, we're going to be using uh, JTAC to designate the target with the laser, and he's going to be on a frequency of 131. Let's set that up. So 1310000. And next, we're going to have a master arm arm, uh, master mode to air to ground. And here on the uh, scores page on the left DDI, we see a MAV, MAV, and it indicates laser maverick. If it had IMAV, it indicated an infrared guided maverick, such as the, uh, the D or the G model. Uh, we'll select uh, MAV on push button 6, and we'll push it again. And this brings up the uh, laser maverick uh, format page, which we'll come back here in a second. And here on the right uh, DDI, we'll select that to stores page. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and contact Finger, who is our JTAC. Finger, one, one. This is in field, one, one, one. Golf, golf, three, six, seven, zero, and five thousand. Armed with AGM 65E, 600 cannon. Playtime is zero plus 30. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Okay, let's see what he has for us. Ready to copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA, three, beat, MSL, APC, golf, golf, one, seven, six, seven, six, zero, mark by laser, one, six, eight, eight, northeast, four hundred fifty meters, troops in contact, egress, east. Advisement ready for remarks and further talk on. Cool. Okay, let's take a look at uh, these uh, displays a little closer now. So here on the laser format page, we have a Maverick at the top. It's boxed and crossed out, indicated we don't have a valid target for it. Uh, right now we have the Maverick on station 8 selected, indicated by the, uh, the boxed MAV symbol here on the stores page. We have three different fuse types. Instantaneous, delay 1, delay 2. The active one is boxed, so we have instantaneous selected. Right now, the uh, seeker is caged to bore site, indicated by the X in the dash circle. And the circle indicates the field regard for the seeker. If the X turns into a filled square, it indicates that the seeker is tracking a designated target. Now, a step, uh, we can actually select which Maverick we're going to fire that's loaded on the aircraft. Right now, we have station 8, indicated by the box Mav. But by pressing the push button step, we can cycle the selected Maverick. And I'll go back to 8. Now, uh, at the very bottom, we have a line here, and this indicates the azimuth at which the uh, seeker is looking. Now, coming over to the uh, stores page, uh, we see that we have a four-digit code under each of the Maverick station, and that's the laser uh, code that the Maverick will be looking for that's uh, going to be designated uh, from the JTAC. Uh, right now, all four Mavericks have a code of 1111, but you know, based on our direction from the JTAC, we need to change that to 1688. So to do so, we're going to select the uh, USC push button here. And when a code is boxed, it means that it is ready for edit by pushing the option select button here for code and then typing in what we want, in this case 1688, and enter. And now you see all four are 1688. But we can also have the ability to individually select a code for each Maverick. So we can go to USC again. And now we can actually box just one Maverick at a time. And when the Maverick is boxed, we can enter a unique code for that individual Maverick. And we'll go back to all of them. And you'll see also that this is uh, duplicated down here on the format page. And up here on the HUD, uh, the diamond indicates where the Maverick Seeker is looking. 
And again, we have Maverick selected here. Okay, let's come back to our JTAG now. Ready to copy remarks. Request AGM 65E, partly cloudy sky, cloud maze 13,000 feet, MSL. And we'll do our readback. Three, golf, golf, one, seven, six, seven, six, zero. Readback correct. Report IP inbound. Okay, so I'm going to unpause, pause now and fly to the uh, IP point. And the cool thing about the Maverick is once it com comes off the plane, it really is launch and leave. So uh, once it's uh, heading to the target, you can go off and do whatever you want. Okay, we're at our IP, so I'm going to go uh, inbound call. In field, one, one, IP inbound. In field, one, one, continue. And at this point now, I'm going to ask the Maverick, uh, the JTAC, to go ahead and start designating the target with the Altitude. laser. Altitude. In field, one, one, laser on. Laser on. Blazing. And now, by going to the cage uncage button, we can go ahead and have the Laser Maverick start searching the area ahead of us. And you'll see on the uh, left DDI it's a square, and we have a diamond, uh, sorry, a triangle over the target. On the HUD we have Maverick locked, and we can launch now. Missile away. And we can come off the target. And that's how you use the Laser Maverick. Uh, later on, we'll be adding the uh, AAT FLIR pod, which will allow you to self-designate. Uh, but for now, we'll be using the JTAC to do that. Anyhow, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.